What's up everyone, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube, and today we're gonna look at what is Power BI Embedded and why you should be using it. Maybe it will look something like this. So Power BI Embedded is all about integrating Power BI visuals, dashboards, reports, tiles, into your own custom application. So this is kind of like the ISV type scenario where you are embedding Power BI to your customers. Your customers don't even sign into Power BI. They don't have a Power BI Pro license. They don't need to know anything about Power BI. All right, so what's the point? Why would I even do this? And the whole point is, it's your application. You want customers to know your application, not necessarily Power BI. And with that, you get the full power of embedding Power BI in your application. This includes all of the visualizations that are inside of Power BI. They can be embedded in your application. And it provides that same visualization experience on any device. Also, custom visuals can be used to take your report to that next level. Your users don't sign into Power BI. Like I mentioned before, they don't even need to know anything about Power BI. You and your application control authentication and authorization to things like reports and dashboards that are embedded in your application. You own that, not Power BI. And row level security is something you can take full advantage of to further restrict access to data for your users. All right, Adam, that sounds awesome. What do I need to do this? You are gonna need a few things. You're gonna need at least one Power BI user that has a pro license. We're gonna call this the master account. This is kind of like a proxy account between your application and Power BI, where everything funnels through this user. You're also gonna need an app workspace. All of your content that you're gonna embed is gonna be in that app workspace, and that master account needs to be an admin of that app workspace. And there are a lot of different ways you can set this up. You can have one app workspace for everything, or you can have a different app workspace for each customer. And lastly, you're gonna need capacity. Capacity is just a dedicated resource that you can use that will help render and run your reports. And the beauty of this is you can purchase Power BI embedded capacity inside of Azure. That's a big deal, it's huge. This allows you to take full advantage of what Azure can do with resources for Power BI embedded capacity. That includes pausing and starting so you control the billing methods of Power BI embedded. You can also scale up and scale down easily between the SKUs that are available for you. And also that means that your Power BI embedded capacity is tied to your Azure subscription, which means it can be in line with whatever you're using in Azure for your application, if that's what you're doing. All right, all of that is cool, but now what? And you've got to write some code. You've got to take advantage of the Power BI APIs inside of your application so you can do that embedding. And we've got stuff to help you out. We've got samples available. These are available out on GitHub. You can go through those. We've also got documentation that walks through those samples. And we've got more samples coming, so stay tuned on that. We've also got the JavaScript embed sample where this allows you to really check out what the JavaScript SDK can do for you client side and how you can interact with reports such as setting filters, changing pages, really enhancing the experience in your application when using reports for your end users. I said before that you have to write some code and we've got a full set of APIs and SDKs available for you. We've got the REST APIs. These are the main APIs that you interact with Power BI with and these are REST APIs, which means you can use these on any platform, regardless of what you're coding with. We've got the Power BI.net SDK. This is a NuGet package you can download and use with your application if you're using .NET. What this SDK does is really wrap those REST API calls to make them a little easier for you to manage. You don't have all that overhead of calling REST API and parsing all that JSON. This SDK does it for you. We've also got the JavaScript SDK. This is client side. This is after we're embedding that report and then we wanna take full advantage of client side capabilities like I mentioned before with filtering and paging, all that stuff. We've also got documentation available for you to help Help you with understanding how to do all of this from the rest API to the embed token to just walking through that sample and understand okay how do I get my application up and running and you can believe we've got more videos coming for you as well all right let me know what you think are you excited about power bi embedded let me know down in the comments below I would love to hear it 
If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe to the Power BI YouTube channel, as well as my channel over at Guy in a Cube. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.